and welcome back to the channel on this video I thought we'd talk about e-bike deliveries and seeing as we recently had Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals some deals are still going on now but we're now into the month of December so I mean some of the deals are going to last right into January and sometimes beyond that but most of the hot deals are pretty much over and so I'd like to talk a little bit about the delivery of your bike now that you purchased one if you purchased one during the Black Friday or Cyber Monday uh, sales or that, those weeks and a couple of things about it is uh, one you sometimes have to wait a while and we're going to concentrate on that more of the uh, waiting a while is what I want to talk about I mean some people are getting their bikes pretty quick here but others have to wait sometimes you're warned uh, forewarned that there's going to be a wait on the delivery but sometimes not and so you're expecting your bike and then no bike you know you're waiting and waiting and waiting and still no bike or it can be a scooter electric scooter or whichever you purchased but uh, and that can get a little bit uh, frustrating having to wait but in the end I mean it's always nice to uh, to get the bike finally but some of the waits can be months and it's not just buying it today or during the cyber Monday or Black Friday deals but at any time during the year sometimes there's delays for whatever reason and you've already paid for your bike and you're still waiting for it and that can get kind of frustrating after a while and that's totally understandable especially if it's your first bike and you know you've got the excitement going we're always excited when we're getting a new bike like that especially the first one because you don't have anything else you know if you've already got a bike uh, like myself that's a little bit different because you still have something else you're riding and all that and the other thing about this time of year that eases it a little bit is that we have crappy weather right like you get the rain or snow depending on where you're at unless you're in one of the places where you can ride it year round I mean totally ride it year round without having to worry about anything um, but a lot of us out there you know we've got to kind of put things to rest for the uh, winter anyway but uh but it can get frustrating uh, I know for sure uh, my bikes I've been kind of lucky on two of them the rad came fairly quickly and so did the aerial rider grizzly once it was in stock because when I wanted it it wasn't in stock so I had my mind made up that I will get that bike and order it as soon as it came in stock because that wasn't a sale or anything that was full price uh, that I paid for it so um, and then the grizzly or the graffiti took a while but I knew that it was going to be a while it wasn't like I I didn't know it was going to be as long as it ended up being, but I did know it was going to be a while. I knew I wasn't going to get it the following week or anything like that. So there's that. Um, deliveries and the frustration sometimes of waiting and having to wait uh, on your delivery of your bike. And then the other thing that can be not good. Maybe that's being nice saying it that way, but that's the way I'm going to say it. Um, is to receive your bike damaged and that's not good because 
here you are all excited ready for to ride your bike and something is damaged on the bike and you have to wait um, because you have a broken part on your bike and you need it repaired or need it replaced I should say it could be uh, a while receiving the part and so then you got to wait longer and I haven't had that happen uh, thank goodness but uh, I know some people that have and that's not that's not uh, great you know when you uh, finally do receive your bike and it's damaged in some way but uh, the other thing about deliveries on bikes is that I myself witnessed this on one of my bikes. I believe it was on the Lyric Graffiti where the delivery man, I believe it was uh, FedEx. I can't remember if it was FedEx or UPS. I kind of think it was FedEx, but anyway, at the time. Anyway, they were delivering the bike and I happened to hear the truck out front of my house. And so uh, I saw them pull up and then I saw them bring the bike out of the truck and start flipping it over and over uh, toward the front, coming in toward the front door. So when I saw that, I went outside and said, to the driver I said hey I can give you a hand to lift this it's, uh, you know we don't have to we can just lift it into the uh, house you know and so uh, you know I got in there and helped them carry it uh, into the house I just didn't want to keep flipping it flipping it like that it might uh, do damage and funny thing is the box did have damage on it like I saw some rips and tears and if you watch the video of my uh, unboxing of the uh, Lyric Graffiti and I can leave that link in the description you can see where I point out in the video of the unboxing where there was damage to the, uh, the uh, shipping box and so uh, um, so I started to wonder when I opened that up looking around to make sure I was thinking oh geez you know did they do damage to the bike the way that I was flipping it there but like that but uh, you know after I um, I was able to pull the bike out and look at everything yeah nothing was damaged so I uh, thank goodness for that but uh, so basically they can be a little bit rough in handling your your bike uh, unfortunately but I mean that, that I happened to see that witness that myself when uh, I happened to see the truck outside my uh, front of the house. But it's not all it's not all negative and all that. I mean, a lot of times the bikes get shipped on time and no problems. You know, everything comes as advertised no damage and uh, all is well and you get to ride the bike and then that's it but anyway I thought I'd bring up this subject because lots of bikes are were purchased during the uh, the Black Friday and Cyber Monday weeks and uh, if you haven't gotten your bike already then uh, you should be getting it at some point hopefully and uh, so if you did buy a bike on Black Friday or Cyber Monday first of all let us know what you bought and secondly did you get it yet have you already uh, received your bike and if not were you supposed to receive it already or is it did you know ahead of time that you'd be waiting a little bit uh, to receive your bike let us know in the comments below I'd be interested to see what uh, how everyone made out with their uh, deliveries of their bikes and were they damaged at all is another thing another question
So go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And if you have any other comment to make on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. It's always interesting to read other people's takes on different videos and subjects. And um, I like to read and see what others are thinking as compared to what I think of a certain thing. And sometimes I get good tips as well from uh, you, the viewer, which is really cool. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.